Hello, this is an instructional video for setting up your Redshift kitchen sink handlebar with your cruise control really long bar tape and the cruise control grips. Your bar tape will come with the two rolls of really long bar tape. It will come with two pieces of finishing tape and it will come with two screw in bar end plugs. If you're just purchasing the grips, it will come with two pop in plugs. To begin, start with your clean unwrapped handlebar with the brake hoods folded up. Ensure that the lettering on the tape is oriented to the bottom. In order to prevent the tape from overlapping the lettering on the right side of your handlebar, you will need to unroll your other bar tape and begin the wrap from the inside of the roll. If you are installing the cruise control drop grips, you will start wrapping your bar at the small laser etched line. If not, you will start wrapping your tape at the bottom of the handlebar. Begin by removing the adhesive backing and then beginning to wrap the tape around the handlebar, overlapping about one third of the previous wrap width. Make sure you're pulling the tape firmly but gently as you wrap to ensure a tight wrap. Don't pull too hard or you might risk ripping the tape. Once you reach the brake hoods, stop and use a pair of scissors to snip a length of handlebar tape about one and a half inches long. Place this short piece of tape around the metal clamping area of your brake hoods. This will ensure that there is no gap when you wrap around this section. When wrapping over the top grip, overlap in tighter wraps towards the front of the bar to ensure you follow the curve of the grip. You can end your wrap here or if your handlebar has a loop you'd like to wrap, make one final wrap as tight as possible against the loop before wrapping your tape under the loop and then over to continue. For a more complete wrap that will cover the loop weld entirely, you can cross wrap your bar tape as shown here. Once you reach your desired finishing point, cut the tape at an angle that follows the wrap. This will ensure a fitted and straight end for you to wrap your finishing tape. Finally, remove the adhesive backing from your finishing tape and wrap it around the end of your tape wrap. You can also choose to use electrical tape if you'd like. At this point, you can then flip back your brake hood covers. The last step for those with the cruise control drop grips will be sliding on the drop grips. You can wet the inside with a rubbing alcohol or Windex to make them slide on easier. Push them on and rotate them clockwise into position. We recommend angling them towards you at about a 45 degree angle, but this is up to your personal preference. If possible, test the feel of the grip orientation while seated, and then tighten the small bolt with a 3 mm hex key to lock in your position. Finally, insert your end cap and tighten it into position.